guys thank you so much for clicking and welcome back so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can make your own mask at home i've actually shared like two videos on how you can make your mask using a bra but in today's video i'm going to show you how you can make your own mask just using any fabric that you have so these masks are sold all over in my country i bought this one at 150 shillings and the reason why i bought it is because i was in town and i had to go to a supermarket and i couldn't enter the supermarket without a mask so i had to buy this one i bought it at 150 shillings last week they were selling these masks at uh, 50 bob 50 bob or 100 bob the price has hiked to 150 maybe next week it will be 200 bob i don't know so i decided to make my own i came home and i decided to make my own because it's just like two layers this and this stitched together yeah since this is what they're selling to us i'm going to show you how you can make your own at home guys i'm not a doctor so i can't tell you exactly if it's going to help because i've actually seen this picture right here it was trading on the type of mask that will prevent you from getting the virus and all that so guys i'm not a doctor i can't tell you what will work and what will not work yeah <music> So this is the shape of my mask and right now our government has allowed us to use these masks because not everyone can afford the surgical mask. I'm going to use this fabric to make my mask. So the first step we're going to do is fold it into half. Then I used my mask to measure the size of the mask that I'm going to make. So from this fabric I'm going to make like 4 or 5 masks. Then again I'm using this mask to sketch a pattern on my fabric. So this is the shape that you're going to cut. The length of my mask is going to be 10 because half of it is 5 and then the width is going to be 5 and a half. So this is the shape that you're going to have when you cut it and then you're going to sit the two of them together. I'm going to stitch this part that I cut and that is going to be the front part of my mask. So when you turn it inside out, this is going to be the front part of your mask or the inner part of your mask. After you've stitched both of them, you're going to stitch them together. And before you stitch them together, make sure the part that you sew faces you. As you can see, the stitches on both sides because you're going to turn it inside out.
so guys if you have a machine the better because it's going to quicken up the process and i'm done stitching so turn it inside out to hide the stitches You can get an elastic band from your bikini you can use any type of elastic band as long as it's comfortable and strong so mine i got it from this top that i no longer wear So this said that her stitches is going to be the inner part of my mask. I'll make other masks from this extra fabric and then right now I'm just marking it so that I can differentiate it when I make these other masks. So one thing I love about this mask is that it's not on my mouth. I can like comfortably speak because it's the, there's a space here. But then since as I talk, it's kept on sliding down because the bands are loose. And so this is my new mask. I really didn't like the color green. Green is not my favorite color, but I'll just have to work with it. So same to this one, the mask is not on my mouth, so I can just speak. But then I love the fact that the bands are tighter, so it can't slide down. Yeah. So just make sure when you make this mask, make sure the band is tighter, so that when you talk, it doesn't slide down. Because they all, I, I've seen so many people wearing these masks like this. Like, it's there, they've covered, they've covered their mouth, but their noses are like this. Like... So there's a video I watched on how you can test if a mask is effective and these guys had their surgical mask on so they were trying to extinguish fire so I was just trying to do that and with surgical mask the fire wasn't extinguished they tried using another mask which is not surgical and the fire was extinguished with mine I was just trying to do it right now and as you can see they both were not extinguished so my sister told me that since these are not surgical masks and they can't extinguish this fire that means these cloth masks are not breathable this the both of them this green, green one and the Ankara one so guys just comment below your opinion In terms of entrepreneurs now producing masks, how effective are these masks? We've been seeing cloth masks, we've been seeing uh, people walking around with cloth masks, um, a lot of them with the African print on them, presumably they are cotton. So how effective are these? And uh, using this mask, although it may have only a marginal benefit, is helpful even to reduce that small number of, number of infections that proportion of infections because if we look at it in the large scale it's quite a significant number so i would say even though masks are not fully protective they are a helpful addition to the current uh, uh, tools so in itself on its own it's not the balm it's not the magic bullet that will sort this out but if you combine it with other um, preventive measures you then increase your chances. The cloth mask, of course, have a room for innovation as local tailors make this. We need to test them, either people in the textile industry and virologists like us, to actually see how much they can do because other studies are not many and they don't show that they help very much. They block very little, especially the large droplets. So guys, that was it for today. If you found this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And also remember to share. See you in my next video. Bye.